how to create a bar chart with React Chart.js. So we're going to create a nice bar chart using React here, and we're going to use the React Chart.js2 component, creating this bar chart with two specific data sets. So let's create our bar chart with React Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do here is we need to import items. And in this case, what I need to do is I would just import and then we're going to say here curly braces and we're going to say here chart as chart js so we're going to import basically the chart js component specifically from the chart js library and what we need here because we're going to create a bar chart we need the bar element because i want to have those rectangles next what i need to have here is well we have here a category axis category uh, or category scale you could say that as well that's for the x-axis next we have the linear and I should keep the visit caps locks of course linear scale and that's for the y-axis and then what we have more is I guess the tooltip we want to have a tooltip we want to have the legend all right so once we have that then we're going to say here from where exactly do we get this from the chart js library with a dot of course so once we did that, the next thing I want to do is to import React Chart.js, which makes sense. And then here, I have to indicate the specific chart type I want. And in some of my older videos, I said like you can put in anything. That's my bad. I made a mistake about that. You need to input the bar or the chart type. So make sure you do that. And if ever you see something else from me, remember this video. Anyway, so then from, where exactly do we get it from? react dash chart js number two this is of course a string value all right so if i save this right now we just have this here everything works but still just in there nothing's fancy and by the way if you're wondering i installed all of these items already in advance the react chart js item and the react component all these components are already installed so you need this component to install and you have to have react working so that's why i am here on my local host 3000 all right, so now we have this. Let's start to work on drawing the chart itself. Let's say a div, and then here, um, I can just do it like that. That's fine. Div, all right. And then we're going to say here, the bar. This will basically be the canvas of the bar. Capital B, and if you're wondering why bar here, because I indicated here, uh, bar. If this would be a line chart, then we say line here is caps lock letter L, and then this would be line. So now we have this, I'm going to put an enter here because I want to put in here certain object values, which will be, one will be of course the data equals data, the data constant. Next will be the options, and this will be equal to options constant, quite straightforward here. All right, we have these here, maybe if you say, well, if I save this right now, we get an error, why data and options are not defined. So let's start to work on it. What we need to do is, before we return, because the returning will show it on the on the website or on the browser. So what I want to do is before we turn, we need to load these constants. So we're going to say constant data equals, and then in here we're going to put in the data, the data set, all the basics. So we're going to say yeah, labels, and this label will be the Monday, and then we have another one, and this, make sure this is an array of course, or else that won't work. So we say Tuesday and comma string value Wednesday. Next, we have here the data sets, which is an array. And then within that array, we can have here an object. So in here, we have, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Well, basically we have here, and uh, let's give this a proper indentation. Uh, what we will have here is the data set value. So this is index number zero. Let's give it a label. And we're going to say here, this will be three, six, nine. All right. And then we're going to say here the data as well, which is an array with the values. We're going to say 3, 6, 9. And these are just bar values, of course. Put a comma in there, and then we can give here the background color. And let's make the background color, capital C, of course, here for color. And we're going to say here this will be uh, blue or aqua. That's the one I've been using quite a while. So let's put an aqua here. Next, what we want to have is here maybe the border color and the border color will be black for now so once i did that what you can do here basically the next thing i or i guess there's nothing more that we need to do here this should be oh hold on there is something we have to indicate border with 
give it one pixel so we have a clear border being shown here or else it will not show at all a border so now we have this if I save this alright so as you can see here the data error is gone but we didn't define the options we just correct so let's do that one here so I'm going to say your constant options equals then here we can basically leave it blank by doing that what will happen all right interesting we get an error here uh category is not defined so i guess here category my bad all these are correct basically we're done here but i forgot to render these items or register them so charge yes no step so what i need to do is i'm going to grab this charge yes dot then register them so we were going to activate them so and in here just grab all of those everything except this here because this is basically here the reference so that's why you have all of the, uh, these only so if I save this right now refresh you can see here no more errors and we get a nice chart all right how can we then add up maybe another item for example we want another data set well just straight in here put a comma and we can just grab another data set here let's copy all of this and then I will say here triple three and this will be three and three and this one will be uh, marine if I save this all right marine is not an existing uh, item so uh, green save there we are so now we have a light blue or aqua and we have a green here that is absolutely phenomenal and that's how we basically can do this one here and give it all values maybe if you say well how about if i will because if i maximize it you can see here the chart is not really uh, getting the right size let's fix that as well you can just say here style equals bracket and then what i will do here another curly bracket and then we're going to just put in the items in here so let's say here uh, we want the padding let's say 20 pixels padding which is a string value comma and if you want something else let's say we have here the width of 80 percent this is a string value as well if we save this refresh you can see here now this works and it gives a padding uh does it give a padding everywhere although i feel like there is no real padding on it uh, probably it doesn't uh, work on the padding uh, anyway then we can do it on the date maybe that would make more sense padding so what we could do is we can just cut this out apparently it just doesn't read the other item here so we're going to put that in here and then just give this proper indentation save refresh all right and as you can see here now now we have pinpointed the div here and i'm surprised that the padding is not being read here nicely so let's see what's going on here padding all right uh i can't explain that one but that's fine for now i'll just figure that out in the near future however this is basically the way how you can control this item here all right, I just quickly figured it out. This is such a disgrace. I'm such a new being react. Remove this comma here. We're going to remove this here. They basically these should be in here all together. Put a comma in there. Put this one like this, and there we have it. If I save this, refresh, you will see here now we have a proper padding of 20 pixels. There we are. That's the one we need padding and width here. So my apologies for that. However, this is basically the way how you can draw in Chart.js or in React Chart.js a chart. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe want to create a line chart, I have another video that's popping up here. There's a line chart with a, for example, an arbitrary line on it as well, which is quite interesting to do with Chart.js in React.